tonight. From Soldier Field in Chicago. It's a special prime time edition of the NFL on EA Sports. Chicago Bears taking on the Detroit Lions. One of the great venues to watch a game in any sport and one of the best home crowds in any sport, Soldier Field in Chicago. This was the scene a moment ago as the Bears emerged from their tunnel. Ready for football are they and ready for football are we as the Bears get set to match up with the Detroit Lions. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gauden. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. So here are the Bears now for their opening drive. They'll be led out by a first-round pick back in 2021 from Ohio State. It's Justin Fields. You're talking about the pause that refreshes. I think it's come at a perfect time of the year for them, hasn't it? You know, they, it's the season is starting to wind down, got a little bit of a break. But how about the guy calling the signals? He's got to be excited about that because now he didn't just get a game plan for one week. He was able to work on it for two weeks. I can't wait to see if they have anything special in, in score for him today. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Here's Fields rolling to his right. And this is taken in by Darnell Mooney. Touchdown, Chicago! Darnell Mooney with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Bears on just two plays have taken the lead. Well, if they didn't get the wake-up call before the game, they got it right now. Two plays already in the end zone. I think of it in boxing terms because whether it's a big shot with your first one or a probing one, a little bit of a jab, the second one was the payoff. That was the big one that landed. One, two, end zone. Kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This fielded right at the goal line. And able to get this out to the 25. So here are the Lions now coming out for their opening drive. At a glance at the man under center at 6'5", he always demands attention. And I'll bet he's talking to his guys about resisting the temptation to try and turn this into an up and down game. Almost like basketball, where both teams press and one team gets an advantage, our team's trying to run with them and they're just not equipped for it. Doesn't matter whether you're equipped or not, just settle in, get calm before you go for the big strikes. Throwing now, Jackson on first down. And that's out to the flat for Swift. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And it'll make it second down. They'll run for the first time with DeAndre Swift. Able to slither by. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and putting the defense back on its heels. Running is swift. Get me! Let's go! 
So back-to-back -back big runs, picking apart this defense on the opening drive. I thought this was a passing league. I thought this was the <laughs> era we were in where the ball was always in the air, right? They didn't get the memo. They didn't get the memo, and I know this to be true. Offensive linemen still, to this day, they want to run the football. They want to fire out and hit people across the line of scrimmage, and they're clearing space. A false start backs him up five, first and 15. From the gun, here's Swift. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play there, second down. These two teams, you may remember, they met up at Soldier Field earlier this season with the Bears winning that one. So they're looking for the series sweep here in Chicago. On second and 15 now, Jackson. And his throw's going to be incomplete. They'll put a check mark in the box where the defense coordinator was saying, how well can we stay with these receivers if we're in man coverage? Because he just did it on that one. Force the incompletion. That allowed him to get bolder with his pass rush, won't it? Absolutely. Frees up your guys elsewhere. Here comes the Lions punter now. As he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. Coming off every player's friend, the open week from last weekend. Oh, there's no doubt about that. Even if you're coming off of a loss as they did, the open week is exactly what you need after you kind of get over it a little bit, right? Rest up the mind, rest up the body. Get yourself ready to go. And they have to be eager to play again, especially since they lost the last time out. Back to back good plays have them on the move on first down. Now it's Fields escaping the pressure right. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. A gain of six there on first. Well, this defense very strong in that victory from a week ago. It was a little bit enlightening talking with the defense coordinator about their performance last week because the feeling was that it was a good, solid performance. They did what they needed to do to get the job done and get the... And under the Lions' pressure, he's brought down. The line to gain is the 33 on third down. Fields. Oh, this will be incomplete. The rush gets home just as he was letting that go. That could have been worse. Instead, it's fourth down. The one with the dive look that time on defense just flooded the field with defensive backs, blanketed everyone, took away all the passing angles, thus the incompletion. And that one's not going to get there. Not enough juice and ambitious effort, but it's well short. And this score will stay right where it is. Well, I was watching him in warm-ups, and he hit a 62-yarder that hit the crossbar and went over this one a little bit inside of that, but not enough leg. And the difference is what? Well, your live conditions, live right? Live conditions, game conditions are a whole lot different than practice, where you just pop it up there, no rush, no pressure. I think maybe that takes a couple yards away from you when you have to do it when it's real. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Play action. Now Jackson. He's going to let this one go deep. A 50-50 ball here, and it's intercepted. Able to get there and pick it. And the Bears are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. Here's Fields. And the hook up here to Allen Robinson. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Flush to his right. Man open is Robinson. And they've got it well across midfield down to the 40 before it's all said and done. Back to throw, Fields. But quickly into the hands of Robinson. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Again, Fields. That's complete right side to Komet. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And that one is incomplete. And it also concludes quarter number one. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. To throw once more on second and 10, Fields. 
And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. Throwing on third down, Fields. And he's got his man, that's Robinson. Touchdown, Bears. Allen Robinson with a lucky number 13 touchdowns now on the year. And the Bears will extend their lead. Point after, right down the middle. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. So that a seven play, 80 yard drive. And the end result is a Bears touchdown. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. And Detroit back in possession of the football. And they're in an early hole. The first drive, they threw the interception. That led to a touchdown. So decent-sized deficit early on. It is, but I think you hit the key words, early on. So they have to decide, do we even need to change game plan, or do we just need to execute better and try and get back in this game? On the ground, it's Swift to start the drive. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. I remember a coaching friend of mine used to tell his running backs before games, make sure you run and jog with your offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking when those big behemoths start to create space for you up front. He did a pretty good job of just following those guys through there for a nice explosive run. It's a loss of two, now third down. Some of these play calls. I think they're a little conservative. Well, you know me, because it's easy to sit up in this booth, right, and make all the calls and then think I'm going to be correct. But I would like to see them open things up, because otherwise this defense is going to gang up on the run and set them down. Third and two. Here's Jackson. And this is going to be incomplete. Not much going on this drive. Looks like they're going to have to punt it away, CD. And right now, I know a lot of their fans are screaming for the OC to change things up, get away from what he's been calling. Sometimes you just need better execution of the plays that have been called. This is taken around the 12. 51 yards on the punt there. And the Bears take over. Here's the Chicago offense coming back out onto the field. Last time they were out here, they had the benefit of good field position, led to a touchdown. This time, they're going to have to work for it. They are, but with that last drive that culminated in a touchdown, I think they carry that confidence into this one. It doesn't matter where you start with the football now. They have to feel great about their opportunity. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. We'll check on his status when we get back. From all the way up at the 38 now, after a good start to the drive. To throw his fields. Flushed out right. This one hauled in, and again, it's Robinson. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10, as they've got things rolling on this drive. Now Fields, eluding the pressure right. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Fields now to throw. He'll get that complete to his tight end commit. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions' 22-yard line. To the air again, Fields. This will be caught inside the ten. And they've got three tight ends here on first and goal to add some extra mass. They'll look to throw again. This is caught. A gain of seven that time. Second and goal. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And he's got his man. That's Robinson. Touchdown, Bears. Allen Robinson with his 14th touchdown of the year, second of the game. As the Bears push further out in front. Extra point right down the middle. And it's now 21 to nothing. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. 
carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Now here's the signal caller getting ready to lead this offense again. If second quarter, they're down big already. He's struggling as well. They've got to find something here. He's got to find something on this drive. And sometimes you take on all that extra pressure on yourself and maybe you have to disperse it a little bit. Lean on some other people, lean on your teammates, find someone who can take the pressure off and get the ball in their hands for a while. Or this, if he doesn't, this is getting out of hand or it could get worse. And now a hook up downfield on second down. And they've got it well across midfield down to the 40 before it's all said and done. A big connection on that one, 34 yards. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. A reminder coming up just a few minutes from now. We'll send you to Jonathan Coachman and our crew in Orlando. Coach will have a look back at some of the stats and scores from yesterday's action. Meanwhile, the throw here is complete. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets it down to the 30 there. Give him nine there on the first down completion. From the 30 on second down, Jackson. That was a route run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw it, and was able to make the sure catch and put the down marker back to one. Now well, here's a throw that's complete. Seven yards, the pick up there. It's got to be so tough having the ball in the middle of the field like that, knowing that a linebacker is just waiting to make a big tackle like we just saw. No, no doubt about it, because offense coordinators love to call plays to send receivers into the middle of the field. And linebackers, they want to naturally discourage those plays from being called. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. This is first and goal and a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. Jackson will throw again. And that is caught. Touchdown, Detroit. A great play there with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Lions are on the board here in the final minute of the first half. Point after try, forthcoming. It's up, it's good, and that'll cut the lead to 21-7. to seven. So the drive winds up going 75 yards in seven plays. And the end result, a Detroit touchdown. From the six. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Here comes Justin Fields and the rest of the Bears' offense. And a trio of touchdown passes so far. They've got the lead as well. All is good in their football world at this point. And it's so much fun for our colleagues, right? Think about our producer, our director, everyone putting together these shots. Wouldn't you love to be in the truck right now to hear him calling for it? Give me that one, give me that one, give me that one. And we just saw three beautiful touchdown passes. Now he's looking for four. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. And with a two-score lead already, they may just look to get this thing to the locker room. Escaping the pressure right. This is caught by Robinson. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Fields on first down. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Robinson. So we are at halftime here on a Monday night. And okay, so much for our halftime break. Apparently we're gonna get right back to it. It'll be Lions football to start the second half and they trail here as we get back underway on EA Sports. This taken in at the goal line. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. And the Lions getting set to go on offense to start the third. And right out of the gate, they face what you think could be a pretty important drive. I would say so. You know, they're down two scores. That's not the end of the world. 
It wasn't the strongest of first halves, but for them to start clawing back, they've got to start putting a little pressure on that defense, start cutting into this deficit. You can't have three and outs and expect to get that done. A gain of three, second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. From the 30 on second down, Jackson catches made by Hawkinson, the tight end. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. On the handoff, this is Swift. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. And he'll push his way up to about the 44 here. Now we're going to get a stoppage. Appears to be an injured bear on the field. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed, picking up the first. Pressure, and he's taken down. The Bears sack. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sand. I'd say it's not panic time yet, but let's be honest about it. Empty possession here, not what you're looking for when you're down a couple of scores. Absolutely not. Trying to start the second half off on the right foot. Unfortunately, going to give the ball up. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Jackson. He'll get this off to Swift. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. Five yards, not enough. And it'll be fourth down. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they rallied and made the tackle. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. And problems spreading to the punt team now. This one goes all the way into the end zone on the fly, so that'll come back to the 20. Now Allen Robinson and company gearing up to go again on offense. A monster game so far, third quarter. He is lighting up the stat sheet. And so many times when you see these types of games, you hear about the quarterback, or we talk about the quarterback throwing guys open, putting it in the right spot. How about some credit for the receivers, yeah, absolutely. though? Absolutely. Who find ways to get open, whether they uncover late in the route, or they get open early, but they just always find a way. And he's having that type of a game. Yeah, he's been nearly impossible to cover. Fields to throw on third and one. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. And they're going to speed things up here. On first down, Fields. Over the middle, and that's caught by Komet. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. From the 44, Fields. Middle of the field, it's Robinson. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and 10. Flush to his right. That's complete to Robinson. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 16 yards there. Two straight plays of 16 yards and another first down. 
Again, he'll drop to throw. But the man is connect the tight end. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. On first and 10, here's Fields. And it's caught. Touchdown, Bears. Allen Robinson. An 11 yard touchdown. And the Bears are able to extend their lead in the final seconds of this third quarter. Now the Bears keeping the offense on the field and going for two. They'll try and throw for it toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Tough there. Good pass. Hit the hands. He just couldn't bring it in. And every receiver's coach everywhere. Seeing that play? Focus, focus, focus. Watch it all the way in and tuck it away. On the return, here's King. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trade expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. From the 31, Jackson. They'll try and set up the screen to Swift. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now it's Jackson. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. Throwing again on second and 10. Jackson. That's complete to Swift out of the backfield. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Throwing is Jackson. And he'll get this into the hands of Swift once again. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. So that'll go as a four-yard loss on the play. And that'll bring up fourth down. Here we go. It's Jackson on fourth down. He's going to float this one deep right side. And that is incomplete. The Lions turned away on fourth down. And the Bears are going to get the football back, and they're going to get it in great field position. First and 10, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Back to throw. Fields flushed out right. And they go back to Robinson. This time he's got him. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. They'll look to throw now on first down. And quick throw here, that's complete. And the Bears are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Here's Fields. And he's got his man. That's Robinson. Touchdown, Bears. Robinson there to make the grab and the Bears look like they're going to get back in the win column as they extend their lead here in this fourth quarter and you wonder now if he might be able to remove the helmet put on the baseball cap and watch the rest of this one from the sideline his fifth touchdown pass of the game say that again did you say fifth touchdown pass of the game yes sir but that's a heck of a performance isn't it because they've had no answer for him at all all game long Receivers have been open constantly, and he hasn't missed a single one of them. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Detroit's offense ready to take over. 
They were coming off the extra week of rest, but this team started sluggish, and it really didn't get any better from there, and trailing big here in this fourth quarter. Throwing on first down, it's Jackson. Got his man there, complete to Gallup. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven, past the 30 to the 32. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. To throw is Jackson. Open man, he's got him, the tight end, Hawkinson. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. Jackson on first down. Quick hitter here, it's complete. A gain of six there on first. Hard to believe his first catch of the game defensively. They bottled him up. That's why they're well on their way to victory. Put your best cover guy on him and then change the coverages behind him throughout the game. Brackets, double, zone, man, you name it. Make sure he gets a lot of angles. From midfield now, here's Jackson. And he'll go down. The Bears get there for the sack. It'll go as a loss of about six, and now it brings up third. We've been around this league for a while, and many coaches never pull their starting quarterback, almost no matter the situation. In this case, though, I think he's got to make a decision. He's taking a pretty good beating out there. Yeah, with the deficit, maybe not wanting to risk an injury. And he'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. Offense for them has been at a premium. You wonder where plays like that have been all game long. They're thinking the exact same thing themselves, but they're also looking forward now because now these plays are really for next week, trying to get some momentum going. Now this one complete on the slant route. And down inside the 15 he goes. Quarterbacks love slant routes because the receivers are breaking right into their line of vision, and receivers love them as well because they're getting the ball on the move and able to catch it and try and get upfield and gain additional yardage. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. The quick slant caught. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards, and that'll make it second and a foot or so. Now it's Jackson. Out to the left there and complete to the tight end, Hawkinson. And he'll get blown up behind the line of scrimmage. Back at the six. They'll wind up losing three here on the play. And that'll make it third down. Fall start's going to push him back, but these days, how hard must it be to be an offensive lineman? It's very hard, Brandon. You've got defensive linemen flinching, trying to draw you offside. You've got the loud crowds, and there are just so many super athletic players on defense now that you have to deal with each week. But through it all, these guys just sit in there for four quarters and slug it out. We're going back to the same well. It's Hawkinson again. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. So this one in the win column for the Chicago Bears. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was, it all came together in the second half, and no points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out. So for Chicago, they continue to put themselves in position for a first-round bye as they move to 8-2. and two. And they will hit the road next week for a date with the Green Bay Packers. Meanwhile, for the Lions, it's 